Everybody welcome to our coaching uh, time schedule moment for the reason for being program on the Super Minds University. Yeah. I'm Dr. John Ayutut and been doing this for a while. Yeah. Uh, just like giving the suggestions and the thinking and the concept and uh, the understanding, you know, what is going around in the world. You know, a lot of things. There are trillions of things, actually, that are, you know, in a lot of things. You know, that's why we always say there are so many, many things in life. You know, and I, one of the common expressions that I have is things happen. <laughs> you wonder sometimes, you know, the ridiculousness of things, you know, the ridiculousness of people, the ridiculousness of events, the transpiring of things. So I always say, well, things happen. We never can like uh, project and really pinpoint what's going to take place because of the law of mobility, the movements, motions, constant motion, you know, in life. So it's very important that we somehow have the the perception, how we perceive things. That's why I always say that the greatest ability is the ability to see. You know, how you're able to see. And even blind people, they see by their imagination. You know, so if you do not see, then things can actually uh, happen that may be bad, you know, because you don't see. So you have to see. So you will be able to, like, maneuver yourself. You are able to like uh, uh, scheme and evade <laughs> because life is really all about scheming and evading. Yeah. I'd like to tell you that there are three aspects, you know, in existence. And that is the aspect of God, the aspect of the world, and then the aspect of humanity, uh, people. So it's God, the world, and people. Three main things, you know. And God, we propose, created the world. And then God, we propose, put the people in the world. You know, we could also think that all is just like by an accidental, like there is no God, just like things just happen, you know. We can also like conceptualize that way because really in life is all about the perception that we have, the understanding that we have, you know, because first of all, it's actually 
all about the interpretation of the human mind. You know, uh, when you read a book, it's not the book that actually is telling you something. It's actually your mind that is like telling you by the words that you read, you know, in the book. Words itself are nothing. If <laughs> you see a thick book and it's really a powerful book, it's the bestseller, you know, and the author is really very, very good. And the thoughts in that book are all super. The book itself is nothing. You know, it's just lying there on the table. It's not doing anything, it's not moving anything. Until you read it. So when you open it, you read the words. Then the words speak to you. But it's not really the words speaking to you. It is your mind understanding the words that are that is speaking to you. When you read the Bible, is it the Bible talking to you? It's actually you talking to yourself by the words that you are reading in the Bible. Right? Because now you're understanding the words. If you see the words, you're reading the words, but you're not understanding it, then the words are nothing. The book is nothing. The Bible is nothing. Same thing in the world. Same thing in life. Life is a lot of things. Myriad of things. Billions of things. Trillions of things in the world. It's always the mind that is the catalyst. Because it's the mind that interprets. You know, if you see a car coming, if you don't understand the car is coming and the car is moving, if you don't see it, you might get run over, you know. It's really nothing until you interpret it. Hey, there's a car that's coming. So the movements that are happening, the things that are happening, are all transliterated by our mind. So now, we go back to the three main proposals, three main things that we say, God, the world, and people. Now, like I said a while ago, you can actually propose that everything is just accidental. No God created everything, it's just like a uh, uh, surface. It's just like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, it's just like came up, you know, there's no creator. You can also say that. And it's up to your concept. But you can actually believe that there is a creator. That God created the world and God put the people in the world. So, if the three main proposals that I'm doing here, God, the world, and people, uh, you know, are, are like correct or acceptable, then we would ask the question, with God, the world, and people, which is the most important thing? Which is the most important feature? Where is the most important fact? Which one? Is God most important? Is the world most important? Is people most important? Now if God is most important, What's the purpose of his being important? If there is no people, if there is no world, God alone, most important. Now who would interpret the importance of God? No 
nobody would know. It's just like what they're saying. If a tree in the forest falls, did it really fall? A tree in the forest falls and it crashes and it creates a big noise. But the question is, did it really fall? Well, who cares? It may fail, it, it could have fallen, it, it, ha it may have fallen, but nobody saw it. Nobody heard it. Who cares? So a falling tree only has meaning and interpretation if somebody saw it. So if God is the most important and there is no people and there is no world, <laughs> what matters is it? So now, which is most important? The world. Of course the world is very important. Without the world, there will be no people living, can live. How can people exist? How can people live without the world? No. Buddha was actually saying, we cannot live without food. And that is so true. You know, we were so small as a baby, and then we are now so big. What made us big? It's the food. Our body is like the food. The water, and that's what we got big. Without the food, without the water, we have not grown up. We we have not like existed, because we cannot live without food. Now, so people got created, or God put the people there. Of the three, God, the world, and the people which is most important. Right? <laughs> I think to me, you know, in my like uh, uh, toying the idea of perceiving which is most important, I always say it's the people that is most important. Because the people is the object of all creation. The world was made for the people. It's not the people that was made for the world. And the people was made for God. God was not made for the people. God did not exist because there is there are people. People exist because there is the world, there is God. So the people, you know, it's just like uh, a parent, you know, mother and father having children, which is most important, the mother, the father, the house, or the children, right? I say the children. I believe the children are the, is the future, are the future. Teach them well, you know, without the children, there, there is no population. Children, very important. Children become young people. Young people become like married people. And they bear, they bear children again. So of the three things, God, the world, and people, the most important is not God. The most important is not the world. The most important is the people. Because without the people, the world is nothing. God is nothing. 
That's just like my idea. That's just like my proposal. You can argue with it. But it's because there is the people and so the world exists. The world is beautiful. The world is nice. The world is so wonderful because there are people. Without the people, the world God is nothing. So now because you are that people, you are the human being, you better understand that. You better take that. You better consider that. You better value that. That's how I always say, you are not made for the coffee. The coffee is made for you. So I always say in my teaching, you are not for the coffee. The coffee is for you. You are not for the chair. The chair is for you. You are not for the bed. The bed is for you. You are not for the food. The food is for you. You are not for the air. The air is for you. You are not for the light. The light is for you. You are not for the world. The world is for you. You are not for the school. The school is for you. You are not for the Bible. The Bible is for you. You are not for money. The money is for you. You are the most important thing and being served, you know, by the support system around you. You got to value yourself. And in creating the value of yourself, you've got to take care of the body and the mind. Why? Because life is nothing without the body. If you have a body but you are paralyzed, you have a stroke, you cannot move, life is nothing. Life is only something when your body is able to move. To feel, you know, to be happy. Hey, 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 I'm telling you, I'm taking a lot of time now, but you know, I'm supposed to just do the 15 minute lecture. But yes, I'll do this next time. See you around, see you next time. I'm Dr. John on YouTube. Please like and share Doc Jaya channel, G A E A channel and subscribe please and share this teaching to your kids and your relatives and people so they would know that these are the people that's the most important. Thank you very much.